everybody and welcome back to our just a little bit on a base upgrade here um, I've been working on things and I'll show you around here this is the old building I was first in up here on this mountain or cliff whatever you want to call it I uh, just expanded made a little garage tried to dress it up a little bit it's kind of weird looking but um and then up here we have the garden area so I can make a few crops to get our kibbles um, but it turned out I put these little the uh, greenhouse ceilings on so maybe help with the greenhouse effect and up here we got our species plant because the griffins kept attacking and breaking everything so I need a little defense up here that species and uh, going down there's our dung beetle my son gave me this to help me with the fertilizer because compost were taking forever so he let me use this until I get my own which I will be doing I want to get a lot of this stuff on my own can I get up here Apparently not. Let's go this way. Ow. Okay, but that's that. And then inside, I think you guys have seen a lot of it. This is a little garage area I built. And then we got a, a fabricator in and grill. Down here, I'd put a generator, which has a door leading out, and then the one we just came down. So there is that. Yeah, I'd emptied everything out because I made the new uh, crafting area. But this was the upstairs. My husband's gone because he is uh, over. He built. He's starting to build on his own. So yeah, this just leads outside. Not real sure if I'm gonna keep this now. I'm still debating. So we shall see. But now let's run over to the new crafting area. And um, I'll bring it back in just a second here. We're back to the new crafting area here. There's the old one. Um, and here is the new one. You see I got my Rexes and RG. And the Magnosaur. We got an industrial forge, which is nice. This all took a lot of... Uh, and here's the trough. And... I just made a couple beds to put up here for now. Um, that'll change because I don't like the way that looks. I'm stuck. Yeah. So, check the drop off. But we walk in here and we have our fabricator and our smithy. Um, a little storage. Over here we got some more storage, chemistry bench, a few fridges. This here I built just for decoration because it was like empty here. And I can even use these mortars and pestles for some storage if I wanted to. Spark powder, gunpowder, you know, and such. So, just trying to make it look a little nicer. Still working on the decorating. We got our water tap in here so we don't have to keep running outside. That's pretty much... Ever vaults that... Oh, one side I have basics, which I need to sort these out still. So I'm going to make one basic, so one for other things. And we have our different boxes and some more decorations, our shine horns. And, oh, there's Kate. Hi, Kate. Um, hang on one second. That's pretty much it. I'm not real crazy about the way the electrical looks, but it's the best I got right now. Chemistry bench. Let's go on upstairs. This is going to be our cooking area. Over here, I haven't decided. I may build a little bar relaxation area. I don't know. Something to decorate it up. But, and 
Then if we go over here, I got my blueprints room. Didn't know what that was. Blueprint. Okay. Head. There we go. Blueprint room. Don't have a lot of blueprints yet, but I'm just gonna separate them out and yeah, that's one of my favorite guns. <laughs> so uh, looks like my husband is breeding ravengers. And this I found in a drop, which is really nice. It's a compact bow. So building and saddles, basic building, what's in here, oh yeah, I need to make a recipes bookshelf. And then you have the little window that looked out, but lots of saddles though. Okay. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here. Um, So that's pretty much it. We got the fridges and our next step will be to get some cryo fridges and cryo pods. So I think I got most materials for those. If we go over here though, once I get unstuck, that's where I got the rest of my dinos. Bred a few more Rexes. Um, Blue Queen. And then we got a new trike that my husband helped me get. Makes it a little easier on berries. They do a little better than the parasaurs, I think, anyway. The Ankies. Got a couple more. Because I bred these. I bred them with my husband's, I believe. And uh, then, of course, our parasaurs. This one, Zach says, is mine, but I don't know. And then our other two RGs, yes, our little raptor. The rest of my RGs I uh, gave to my husband to help him out. He kept getting killed, and so did some of his dinos. But <laughs> and then here we have our tech parasaurs, where I'm trying to do like a tech farm to get my electronics. It works pretty well. Um, eventually, I'll get an incubator in here. And then I got the torches I'm using now, but I wonder what it costs for an incubator. Um, let's see here. Put in hatchery. Uh, wait, no, not hatchery. Why did I put in hatchery? Um, incubator. See how expensive these are. I'm high enough level and not too bad. So, anyway, this is the Tech Parasaurs. I got two males and the rest are females. And yeah, if they just drop down, if I accidentally leave them on and I leave the torches on, they will hatch. So, I have to be careful with that. So. But that is about all for the tech parasaurs, I think. Um, let's poop. Let's go on back out. It's pretty much the base upgrades. Um, like I said, the next step is to get cryo fridges, cryo pods, and see how that goes. But anyway, so, and I'm still not sure on that building. We got a lot to think about so anyway I want to thank you all for viewing and a shout out to my subscribers and you all have an awesome day